Hey guys, so it's the autumn here and we've been working really hard on the landscape and making quite a bit of progress. But one of the things that I've noticed about, I would say three or four days ago, and I'm filming this in October, so we're in autumn right now. One of the things that I actually noticed is that our white pine trees, both within the landscape and also within the forest, are developing yellowing needles. Now, this is not anything to worry about. There are things that can happen to your pine trees, like lights and things along those lines, but this is nothing too serious. So I'm gonna show you what I'm looking at and uh, explain a bit more about what it is. So this is a weeping white pine. And you'll notice as I pan up and down, you'll notice this like yellowing and browning of the needles right here. You'll see that it's in the older needles. So it's the needles that are a little bit further back and they're just starting to fall off. It's almost like a little hair loss, if you will. But these are the, the leaves of the Pinus strobus, this weeping Pinus strobus. And I noticed that the white pines in the forests and here within the planted within the landscape were all doing it kind of at once. There was just one white pine in the landscape that, you know, kind of did it at a different time of the year. But I wanted to show this to you because this is like super natural for pines to do, especially white pines. And, you know, there could be like needle blights and like fungal blights and things along those lines. But in this case, it's just the annual leaf drop and it's pretty synchronized with uh, the white pines that are on the property here. And you'll notice in the garden below that you see all of those needles dropping here. And that's great because this is gonna be really good duff um, and humus for these plants. Actually, when I first put my spade in this garden, I was just <laughs> enamored with the soil here. And I think it was just years and years of pine needle buildup, which is really good. So this is one of the shade gardens that we've planted and actually even expanded it. Don't mind the walkway because we're actually gonna be working on that. But yeah, I wanna give a little of a close up on this, these needle drops. And we'll take a look at another white pine within the landscape so you could see what's going on as well and you could compare. So this is the second white pine that I'm going to show you. I'm gonna go over here so the light is working with us and not against us. This is one that I cut back quite heavily um, I did a pruning conifers one, and this one is one that I definitely pruned back because it was just so heavy and it was actually broken from the winter because the snow was very laden on it. You could already spot the yellowing leaves and again, the yellowing needles that are just at the base of the little branchlets here. And again, these just fall off pretty readily. They're dead. They're not gonna come back and they'll just fall off. And again, be part of the duff or the humus down below. But the needles are such a valuable resource, both in the forest and also in the landscape, because if it falls below on your garden bed, it acts as basically like a pine needle mulch. So it helps insulate the soil and then eventually just becomes part of the humus within the ground. I think it looks actually quite beautiful. And with white pine, they're so soft to walk on, especially like within the forest. If you've ever walked through a white pine forest or predominantly white pine forest, oh, just the, the softness under the feet is, that alone is just uh, such a miracle. Here you go, you could see a close-ups of these yellowing older needles. Now, if you saw the yellowing at the tips, I'd be a bit more worried, but you could see that these were coming off and it doesn't, doesn't make the tree look any worse for wear. I actually think it makes it look more beautiful. And it's good that some of these needles actually drop off that are on the inside because oftentimes the needles on the inside, they're not getting a much light anyway. And you want these to fall off because it actually helps provide airflow. And airflow is good in trees like this because it actually prevents any buildup of any type of bacteria or fungus that want to be harbored in kind of like a dark, cool, moist environment. So if you have airflow going through these branches, then that's gonna be healthier for this plant. 
Now here I'm approaching another white pine that's in the landscape. And this is the white pine that basically doesn't have much needle drop. Now, typically the needle drop happens in the autumn months, which is, we are in the autumn months, it's in October. But this one actually dropped most of its needles earlier in the year. And I was a little worried because I thought there was something wrong with this tree, but there really wasn't. It was just going through some type of, <laughs> it was going through things, I guess. But now it looks pretty good. Now you do see some needles that are probably going to, to fall off. There are some yellow ones in there, but it's primarily green. And this is more in a Southern aspect. So perhaps that has something to do with it, but really beautiful specimen tree. I actually did some clipping on this earlier in the year. And pretty much the only white pine that I've seen so far that is not doing the, uh, the annual needle drop like the others. Okay, I'm walking through the woods. I'm not wearing my hiking boots or anything, so I'm not gonna go too deep in there, but I think you could probably see, let's concentrate on this tree right here. This is a white pine just in the woods, and you could probably see that it has some yellowing at the base of the leaves in there if you just squint and look more closely. And again, that just goes to show you it's not just the trees planted in the landscape, it's actually the, the majority of the white pines that I've seen, even this one on, on this side, looks a little sparse on the bottom, but if, you, if we pan up to the top, you could see some of the yellowing of the leaves there. So again, this is just a common annual leaf drop that's happening with the white pines here. Nothing to be too worried about. <laughs>